Hey Capricorns, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I am open for personal readings, you guys. Book with me in the description box below. You can email me, okay? Email me your questions for August 20th through the uh, September 20th. I am doing 20 for 20. $20 for 20 minutes, okay? So make sure you book with me today. I also put the uh, announcement in the community section. So book a personal reading, 20 for 20. The readings are normally $50. So get in on this special while it is lasting, okay? Alrighty, Capricorns. Okay, something already flew out. Nine of Swords is in reverse. Okay, <laughs> No more drama in my life. Can, some, can somebody say no more drama? Because that, that's exactly what this feels like. No more drama. That Mary J. Blige song. No more drama. <laughs> Nine of Swords is in reverse. I'm not stressing over this. I'm not stressing over this situation. I'm not stressing over this person. I'm not losing sleep. Whoa, your cards are shooting out. Eight of Swords just flew out in reverse. Oh my gosh, Capricorn. I can barely get a question out. I can barely say anything and the cards are shooting out. I'm not worried about this person. I'm not worried about this situation, this job. I'm not going to allow these, these children to stress me out. Whatever the situation is, I'm not going to allow my family to stress me out, co-workers. Show me for Capricorns, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Oh gosh. Oh, wow. King of Wands with the Seven of Cups just shot out. Let me make sure nothing fell on the floor. Okay. Whew, my goodness. <laughs> okay, Capricorn. So, uh, somebody needs to hear this message. And the I feel like this the spiritual temperature has been on 100. Okay, all this week it, it feels like it's like mm. <laughs> so a lot of you could be in a, a very spiritual energy. Some of you may be having a lot of dreams. There could be a Aries Leo Sagittarius involved here with the Seven of Cups, with King of Wands and Seven of Cups. So we'll put that here. Somebody may want to take the stress away from you. Take the pain away from you. Okay? Relieve you of stress. When we get the Nine of Swords in reverse and the Eight of Swords in reverse. Someone wants you to stop overthinking. Possibly. And uh, a fire sign. I was about to say earth sign. So it could be earth sign. Mm, the tower is at the bottom of the deck. Kaboom! Scorpio's energy. This could be a major transformation. Empress is here as well. Wow. Someone having a powerful realization. Possibly, you know, who you are. Or your worth. Let's see. Okay. Okay. What is this? Page of Cups, but it kind of came out flip floppy. So we're just going to put it upright because <laughs> it flipped out upright and then it went in reverse and then sideways. So <laughs> page of cups is here. Why is that page of cups here? <clears throat> Why is that page of cups here? Knight of swords. Okay. So someone wants to say something. Judgment. Okay, Ace of Swords. Someone's coming back around with Judgment, the Page of Cups, Ace of Swords, the Knight of Swords. What do they want to say? King of Cups. Wow. This could possibly be like, I love you. Okay, I have a lot of feelings for you. Whoa, King and Queen of Cups back to back already. Yeah, we have a match. This person definitely feels that Two of Cups energy with you. And I say that because both the King of Cups and Queen of Cups are holding a cup for each other. It's the energy of the Two of Cups. Lots of feelings here. 
before we get ahead of ourselves, let's clarify this Nine of Swords reverse. Show me that Nine of Swords reverse, please. For Capricorn, Five of Pentacles. The Star card. Someone really misses you here. Aquarius energy is here. Someone wants to heal this. Like I was saying, someone wants to take the stress away. Could be an air sign for some of you. I also feel like someone is tired of missing you. They're tired of stressing over you. They're ready to take action as the King of Wands. Someone is ready to take action on what they feel. This is why the Nine of Swords is in reverse. Like, I'm tired of losing sleep over Capricorn. I'm tired of not talking to Capricorn. I'm ready to communicate as the King of Swords. Seven of Pentacles, I've been waiting to make this decision. Two of Wands, I've been waiting, strategizing, trying to figure out what to say. Wow, lovers. And what I want to say is that I love you. I'm in love. Someone is in love. And then look at that. Six of Wands. They're ready to come in. It's been a struggle. Five of Wands for this person to get the Wands correct. What was once a struggle, Five of Wands, is now the Six of Wands. Now I'm ready. I was struggling, but now I'm ready to come in. And this man in the card, he looks like well-dressed. He looks ready. He looks poised, ready to speak, ready to talk. Show me that Eight of Swords reverse. Whoa, whoa. Someone is getting unstuck here, Capricorn. We have the moon. Yeah, whatever was hidden is coming to light. Someone's deep emotions for you. Eight of Swords reverse. Show me. Ten of Swords. Lots of sword energy. Show me. Whoa, strength in reverse. Strength just popped up in reverse. Mmm. Some of you, this could have been a, a, a Leo that you rejected with the strength card being in reverse. I also feel like someone had to get over something that was very painful. Maybe someone was stuck in something, stuck in their emotions, overthinking something. Okay, with the Eight of Swords showing up. And now we have the Moon with the Ten of Swords, but the Strength card is in reverse. Like I was saying, something is no longer a struggle. A painful ending. Maybe you didn't know why this person ended something with you. If if this is an ex, okay? Maybe there was a lot of deep emotions that this person was hiding. Maybe they weren't ready. Maybe they felt like the timing was off or they felt like they just weren't ready to express all of these deep emotions. They could have been going through an ending themselves with the energy of the Ten of Swords. Show me this energy with that Eight of Swords reverse for Capricorns. We have the High Priestess. Pisces energy is here. I mentioned the Two of Cups and there it is. Two of Cups. This person could have even been praying. They could be religious. They could have been praying with the High Priestess, Two of Cups. Praying that the two of you come back together. Yeah, in relationship, Four of Wands. Very direct energy. Wow. I feel like this person is ready to go direct. Something flipped over. This could be a Leo for a lot of you. We have the strength card. Now we have the sun. The sun is here. Like I said, things are being brought to light. Things are coming to light. This person's energy has shifted where they are wanting to be more direct with you. Knight of Pentacles coming in with an offer. Ten of Wands. Nine of Wands. They could feel a bit nervous to come in with this offer. Yeah, they may feel like your guard is going to be up, okay? But they're moving toward you. King of Pentacles, moving toward you. Yeah, some of you have had heartbreak. Three of Swords with the Tower, possibly with the Scorpio. Some of you have had heartbreak here, yeah. 
Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. But things are changing for you. You have a big offer coming in. A really big offer. And I feel like it's going to come in when you when you least expect. Or when you think things are falling apart in your life. Or your love life is not going right. There could even be something with a job that is changing for you. Shifting or changing. And then here comes love. A love offer. Something you desire. Nine of Cups with the Ten of, the ten of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles here. Mm. Show me. What does this person want to say to Capricorn? What do they want to say to Capricorn at this time? Two of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> But I want to try. Nine of Pentacles. And I want to try with you. I'm not sure how this is going to work. But I do want to try. Two of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. I want to work towards something with you. Because I see you as the Nine of Pentacles. The cream of the crop. You are the person that I want to be with. Yeah. What else do they want to say to Capricorn? Magician, Gemini's energy, manifesting, look at that, the Ten of Pentacles, what I had just showed you, and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, I'm manifesting long term with you, if you would have me. I'm very passionate about this, and I'm ready to take action with the Ace of Wands. I want to get this started. Knight of Cups, I'm coming in. Again, like I said, very direct energy. How's Capricorn feeling about this person? How's Capricorn feeling about this person? How does Capricorn feel? Page of Pentacles. Okay. Two of Swords. You're thinking about it. You're thinking about if you would talk to this person or not. Hermit. Yeah, you're still thinking about it. Could be a Virgo. But you. it's like, I don't know yet. I may talk to this person. I may not. With the Page of Pentacles, I may indulge a conversation. Two of Swords, I'm thinking. The Hermit, I may not talk to you. You may not hear from me. I'm still thinking. Show me Capricorn's energy toward this person. The Tower, kaboom. Scorpio's energy is here. Three of Cups. And the Four of Pentacles. You could think about reconciling possibly with the Scorpio, but you're holding back right now with the Four of Pentacles. You are thinking about reconciling with them, okay? This could be a Scorpio in particular for some of you. Seven of Swords is here. Nine of Cups. And the Ace of Pentacles. You're holding back trying to see if this person is really going to give you the ace of pentacles. That's why that's why you're you're kind of you're not rushing into things. Let me just say it like that. Seven of swords, you're keeping your communication zero to uh, like minimum or to zero. You're not talking that much to this person because you want to see what they really desire. Does this person really want Nine of Cups? Do they really want the Ace of Pentacles with me? What does this person really want? That's what you're thinking about. Could I really have the Ace of Pentacles with this person? Are we going to move things forward with the Eight of Wands here at the bottom of the deck? <clears throat> Anything else Capricorn should hear or know from this deck? The Harfont, Taurus is here. Ace of Cups. Seven of Wands. This could be an opportunity to have a solid, committed relationship. It could be. Could be. Some of you could be blocking a Taurus, okay? But for others of you, I'm feeling like this, this has potential to either be rekindled, something being rekindled with this person, or you starting something brand new, but you definitely have your guard up with the Seven of Wands. Six of Swords. 
Three of Swords. And we have the Knight of Wands. Yeah. You're moving slow because you don't want the Three of Swords. You don't want a player. You don't want to be put in a third party. You don't want to be hurt. So you're taking your time moving toward this offer. And again, the Death card could be toward a Scorpio. Okay? For some of you. With the Death card there, Five of Swords. Yeah. For some of you, a fellow Capricorn. For some of you, a Taurus Libra with the Empress here. The devil energy, that is your energy. Yeah. Eight of Wands with the Five of Swords. Some of you could be strategizing like, maybe I should just shoot this person a message. Maybe I should just say a little something and see if they've changed because remember the death card is about changing transformation you may think to do this let me just talk to them and see what their response would be or so you may do a little test with this person you could test this person now i will warn you if they are a scorpio scorpios are the masters of test okay so they will know that you're testing them and they will test you back. So I'm just saying, you know, be aware of that energy. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What does Capricorn need to hear or know at this time in this situation? Vacation is here. Move on. Gambling. Oh. And yes. Okay, yes what? manifest okay <laughs> I'm, I'm just going down the line yeah mercury retrograde we are currently in retrograde someone is manifesting you i feel like during this time the energy was so direct i feel like this will happen in the next few days okay for a lot of you this is going to happen in the next few days Someone that you moved on from, someone that you've been taking a break from or vacation from, so to speak. Yeah, it may be risky with the energy of gambling. It may be risky to say yes. You may feel like it's risky to say yes to this person. Yeah, you may feel like it's going to manifest communication issues or problems or maybe an argument. I just say, go ahead and do it. <laughs> if you want to talk to a person that badly, or if they're trying to talk to you that badly, go ahead and have the conversation because it may be the catalyst that will bring in, you know, usher in a new beginning. You don't know until you do it. You don't know until you do it. Okay. Anything else Capricorn would need to hear or know about this person? Anything Capricorn needs to hear or know about this person. Coffin is here. Endings bring new beginnings. Yeah. Growth, change, liberation, transition. So like I was just saying, you know, this could be the catalyst to start a brand new beginning. After you have already ended it with someone or you've already walked away or you've been on a break from this person. This could be a new beginning, a rekindling. Someone is looking at your photographs, being nostalgic, looking at the past. Someone is saying, I like you. Someone is feeling heartbroken here. Heartbroken and sad. Something, someone wants to transcend these obstacles. Ascending is here. It says transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. And this is what I feel this person want from the very beginning. This person's energy was, I want to change things. I want to change the narrative here. So if they have put you in stress before, they want to take you out of stress. If they had you overthinking, they want you to... Uh, to be calm or to be at peace in your thoughts with them. So someone is wanting to show you I've changed or I've, I've ascended. One more. They could be afraid. Like I was saying, this person could be nervous that you're saying not today. 
not today. Some of you could be afraid that you're being seduced by this person. So it's going to take a lot of trust, a lot of trust for the two of you to bring this back to a place of calmness where the two of you can bond. Okay. Mm. And this is for those of you who are in a place where you're trying to decide, should I or should I not reconcile with this person? Others of you, if you're saying, I'm done, I don't want this person, well, that's that's your decision. But what's coming through in this reading is for Capricorns that are on the fence about a certain person. And it's showing you how this person is feeling and what their intentions are toward you. What does this person want to say? Let me go to this deck. My life is not together as together as it seems. They could be a wreck without you. I want to be more than friends. Yeah, I'm not coming in for a friendship. It's time for me to heal now. Yeah. And that's why I was saying this person, they may have gone through something that was very painful or they may have pretended that the ending was not painful for them and it was. Someone is healing or has healed. And one more. I want to feel that way again. Yeah, with you. Finding out the truth crushed me. And this is something that they could have come to the realization, like understanding what they did or realizing their actions. It hurt them to hurt you. Okay. Alrighty, Capricorns, that is your energy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Bye.